it is time to take a look at my favorite gear from this year. Let's check it out. What's up backpackers? My name is Thor and here on this channel we talk about all things backpacking. We talk about gear, we have trip videos, we do reviews, we talk about tips and tricks. If any of that sounds like it has any value to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on that bell notification because every single week I'm releasing new content and I'd hate for you to miss it. So let's get to today's video. Today's video is in collaboration with a couple other YouTube channels. The first is John Kelly. This guy's videos are awesome. He does tons of gear reviews, lots of trip videos, and go over to his channel and check him out. Next channel is Dan from Backpacking Adventures. His YouTube channel is Backpacking Adventures. His name is Dan. He's another really solid guy that I've watched for a really long time. Both of these channels are high quality honest guys that are gonna give you their honest opinion. And that's why I chose to do collaborations with them today because they share the same sort of values and the same sort of backpacking values. I don't know, they just seem like really solid guys. So I hope you enjoy not only my video, but Dan and John's video. So go check them out. All right, so I've got a pile of gear here that I wanna go over with you, but I just wanna cover one thing first. Please remember, backpacking is so subjective. It's so personal. And this is just the gear that worked out best for me in 2020. By no means am I saying go out and spend your hard earned money on all this gear, but rather take into consideration that I've tested this gear this year and I'm just sharing my opinion with you. Also, please let me know in the comments below which gear from this year, 2020, the best year ever, work for you. First item of my favorite gear from this year is Peak refuel. I was a diehard mountain house at the beginning of this year and the middle of this year I was introduced to Peak Refuel which is a local company here in American Fork, Utah. I tried out their meals on the last two trips that I've been on and I have been blown away. The quality, the taste, and there's one thing that shocked me. On most of Peak Refuels, they require a fraction of the amount of water that a mountain house meal does. For example, a regular mountain house requires about two cups of water. The Peak Refuel, my favorite meal, the sweet pork and rice, requires two thirds of a cup. So that allowed me to get a better tasting meal in my opinion at less of a weight. I'm not having to carry two cups for every meal, I'm carrying two thirds of a cup or, a, or one cup, it's just a fraction. So something to think about is how much water are you adding to your meals because it might help lighten your load. Next item is one that I'm kneeling on right now. Now, it's the Thermarest Z Seat, let's just get that out of the way. Get the Thermarest Z Seat out of your brain, the name. Let's just talk about foam pads. Foam pads are a very versatile piece of gear and I have been shocked at how much I have used this this year. Be it filming videos, on trail, I used it so much. To set my gear on while I'm getting camp set up, so that my backpack's not getting dirty, I lay this out to put my cook pot on it to prepare my food. I set it out as a like a welcome mat outside my tent so that I have a clean place to kneel, turn around and take my shoes off when I get into my tent. It's just a very versatile piece of gear and one of my favorites from this year. This next one should come as no surprise because I've talked about it a lot on this channel and it is a sleeping pad. A sleeping pad is one of the most important pieces of gear that you can invest your money in. And my favorite sleeping pad is the Nemo Tensor Insulated. <clears throat> Not just the regular, but the regular wide. I like wide sleeping pads. I'm wide. <laughs> it's just more comfortable. Save yourself the time of testing out a 20 inch pad to save a couple ounces and just go with the regular wide. Now, if I had to recommend a pad for anybody, the experienced backpacker, the be beginner backpacker, it would be the Nemo Tensor. For this next year, I'm gonna want, I would like to test out some new sleeping pads. If you have any suggestions, let me know which sleeping pads you've had success with that aren't the Nemo. But for 2020, this is the best. Okay, this next piece of gear was one that took me a while to not only save up for, but to pull the trigger on because it's an expensive piece of gear. It only weighs a couple ounces, but it is vital to me. That is the Garmin InReach Mini. Now, this is one that I have tested. I would say that any type of satellite device is gonna be great, but personally, the Garmin InReach Mini checked off every box for me. 
it's small, the battery lasts a long time, it's user friendly, and it keeps me in contact with my loved ones back home. Can't tell you how nice it is to be backpacking and to hear this thing go bring bring, and I get a text from my wife just saying, hey, just wanted to make sure you're doing okay, the boys are great, just wanted to say I love you. There's nothing better than being in contact with my family while I'm gone. And it's not a constant communication of every five minutes we're just texting, hey, what's up? How's it going? LOL, what are you doing? What's up, bro? It's just like, hey, just checking in, letting you know that we hiked in. It doesn't have to be like, <laughs> I'm going way too far into this. The Garmin InReach Mini is a great product. It allows me to stay connected and it has a few functions about like pulling a weather report, has an SOS function that contacts my local search and rescue if I get in to a pinch and really need some help. So the Garmin InReach Mini from 2020. Next piece of gear that I wanna talk about is something that I put in my cook system this year. I have used the MSR Pocket Rocket. Well, mine is a micro rocket. I've had it for eight years. And you know what? I just wanted to try something new. So I watched reviews, I talked to people, and the stove that I landed on, Soto Windmaster. This stove has been amazing. I've taken it out during the summer, I've taken it out on a winter trip, and it has performed at a very high level and has exceeded all of my expectations. Not only is it lightweight, but it's extremely durable and it's a high quality piece of gear. And the features on the Soto Windmaster are something that I really love. I love the integrated lighting system on the side. I love that this is separate. I don't know why, maybe it's just because I like to fidget with this thing, I don't know. But I like, I just like it. It just feels like a quality piece of gear. Now. On a more serious note, I really do like the way that this seals. I know that's not like exciting and like sexy backpacking lingo gear, whatever you want to call it. It's not Z-Packs or, no, I'm just kidding. But it really has a solid O-ring and the way that it seals is just superior to all the other stoves that I've ever used. So consider checking out the Soto Windmaster. Okay, one of the things that I love about backpacking is it forces us to be minimalist, whether we like it or not. Because you can only stuff so much into a backpack before it starts busting at the seams. And one of the things that I've found that has been priceless in keeping my gear organized and in a manner that is just easy once I get in the backcountry to find my gear has been the Hyperlite Mountain Gear pod systems. Now, these are specifically designed for the Hyperlite packs, but that's not to say that you can't use them in any pack. The reason that it's specific to the Hyperlite packs is because it has the flat bottom with the rounded top. Now, most packs are shaped like that, but this one's just cut exactly right for the Hyperlite packs. They're made out of a Dyneema composite fabric, which means that this is gonna be waterproof. Whatever I put in these bags, they're gonna stay dry. And that's awesome for me, because I'm not having to use the Nyloflume bags and the garbage liners, which is not, nothing wrong with that. I just like having a very organized system in order to keep my pack nice and clean. The next piece of gear is my headlamp. Wow, that sounds silly. I've really liked this headlamp. The reason, there's just a few things that I really like about it. Now, you can use any headlamp. It's not like this headlamp is gonna kick the, is gonna beat all the other headlamps or this one is the best one you can buy, but I've just enjoyed it. It is crazy lightweight and it was really affordable and it's rechargeable. I have never had to recharge this while I'm out on a trip. I've been on a three day trip and I've not had to recharge this. So I'm not carrying the extra weight of batteries, like the AAA batteries that go in them, which sometimes there are two or three batteries are in it. And while it's not a lot of weight, it's just nice to cut weight where you can. They're about 20 to $30 on Amazon or from their website or whatever. It's the Nikkor NU25 is going to deliver a quality headlamp at an affordable price. So from this year, my headlamp was the Nikkor NU25. Okay, this next piece of gear is a tiny piece of rubber but it, was, it made my top gear list from this year, and that is hot lips. Hot lips are something that you snap on the edge of your cook pot if you're gonna have some tea or whatever you drink if it's hot in the back country, or maybe some soup or something that you're, you're sipping after you've done eating it. This just goes on the edge so that you don't burn your lips while you're drinking from your pot. Now, while it sounds silly, I am obsessed. I, I, I learned this on the last trip. I am obsessed with sitting in my Helinox Chair Zero and just staring in the mountains, drinking a cup of tea. As you can see, if you check out my trip video, I did that quite a bit. But at just a few dollars, it really is just a nice little luxury item to take into the backcountry to just give me that next level of backpacking sophistication. 
Guys, we're at the last item on my list today, and that is gonna be my favorite shelter system from 2020. Now, this decision did not come easily to buy this tent because I had a lot of boxes to check off. Without going into too many details, because I'm gonna be doing a review on this tent, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. My favorite shelter system from 2020 is the Dan Durston X-Mid 2 person tent. This tent found the balance between quality, lightweight, and functionality for me. It is an amazing tent with double vestibules, with a double wall system, with enough space for two wide sleeping pads. It, it, I couldn't find a tent that got all the features that are packed into this tent at this weight for this price. If you're on the fence about any tents or on, on the fence about this tent specifically, just pull the trigger. I promise you, if you get the Dan Durston X-Mid 2, you're not gonna be disappointed. This year I've taken it out and I just took it out in a winter backpacking trip. And unintentionally, it dumped snow on us and it held up very well. If you're considering a tent for this next year, consider the drop Dan Durston X-Mid 2. All right guys, well that was today's video. The best gear, in my opinion, from the year 2020. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this released every single week. Please smash the like button. And backpackers, thanks for stopping by.